What exactly do we have going on here today? Well, we have um, a group of uh, middle school students today planting um, salt marsh plants, Spartana alterniflora. Um, they've grown some of the plants in their um, high school nursery, and mm -hmm. we've been working with high schools for the last four or five years to have them grow salt marsh plants for us. Um, cool. Here's our little salt marsh at Fields Point. So high school work down that area with the uh, yep, yep. Most grown of the in? most of the plants that you see were grown by um, high school students and planted by high school students, oh. which is pretty exciting. I'm Hillary Fortune, and this is Harlan Benetti. We are teachers at the Compass School, and this is kind of the end of our year of studying ecosystems in Narragansett Bay, and we grew the we grew the Spartina seeds from um, seeds that we and gathered. And we're here with our 7th and 8th graders, planting the seeds that sprouted in our window and then outside on the back deck of the Compass School. This all started when we went and gathered the seeds back in October at Jamestown and held them in, in our refrigerator over the winter with salt, in salt water. And back in, I guess it was late February, we brought them out and planted them and we've been taking care of them ever since. We had to start adding salt water and fertilizer and and uh, the kids have been really into growing these little tiny plants. Of course ours weren't as big as Ponegansett's but we're still happy. If you look at the shoreline farther down you'll see bits of old buildings, bits of cars, that's yep. what the shoreline used to look like. Um, so we wanted to oh, create so something. Quite a, quite a ways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we wanted to create something that was a bit more of a softened shoreline and mm -hmm. Show folks that you don't ha just have to have a nasty wall like this. You can have something a little bit softer. And um, we're creating salt marsh because it's an important habitat for mm -hmm. um, finfish species, shellfish species. We actually found some horseshoe crab eggs here today, so we have horseshoe crabs breeding at our site. Um, it's also a good shoreline protector for storms, um, filters the water as it comes off the land, etc.